Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to be unboxing a power base, 34 centimeter, 1400 watt electric rotary lawnmower. No, we're not. No, no, we're not. It's another Hoover. Of course it's a Hoover. Of course it is. Why am I even bothering to try it? <laughs> of course it's a vacuum cleaner. What else could it be on this channel? We don't do lawn mowers here, that would be silly. Now this one I found on eBay and it was £12. <laughs> £12! Plus the postage of course. I think it was I think it was £25 including postage so not too bad and I saw it there and I thought oh I haven't had one of those for a long long time and actually do you know what the more I, the more I think about it I don't think I've ever had one I, I really don't remember a time of actually having one of these machines so it's really great to finally have one I will qualify this by saying it's not in the best condition but then none of us are anymore. Um, on the advert for, the, the, not the advert, the eBay listing, it said that it was, it was just the machine, there's no hose or pipes or floor heads or, or anything. And it said that it's covered in paint splatter. <laughs> so we're gonna have to see just how bad the paint splatter is. I think this one's gonna take an awful lot of cleaning up to get it anywhere near uh, presentable, if you like. So, uh, fingers crossed it's not too bad, but yeah, from what I saw in the pictures, it weren't great, I've got to say. Now, I was quite excited when I saw this, because as I say, I don't think I've ever, I've ever had one, but it was the colour of this one that sort of, got me a bit more interested than, than I would have been. Because then, of course, I went down a rabbit hole. And as with anything Hoover, it, it's a Hoover, you, 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 <laughs> you start to do your research and you, you, you think to yourself, okay, have I made that up in my mind? Because I remember these machines being on sale like in the mid 1980s. But I also recall that there were two colours, there were two colour schemes of this particular machine, both with exactly the same model number, S4256, um, if memory serves. Now, it's, it's not a huge amount of excitement here in taking this machine out of the box. Um, but yeah, two colours. One was cream and one was burgundy. And I actually remember my uh, Uncle Ken and Auntie Carolyn having the burgundy version in the mid to late 1980s. They had some really cool cleaners actually. They used to run a farm um, and my earliest memory of that farm is going to see them with my parents. <clears throat> and originally they had a Hoover celebrity, uh, the, the yellow one. Oh, was it yellow? No, it wasn't yellow. It was the red celebrity, the orangey red colour one. Um, so they gave that to me when I was a kid and that was replaced with an Electrolux 350E, which was a really nice machine. I mean, God, going from a celebrity to a Lux 350E, what a massive jump that is. And I, I, I kind of sit here now and I wonder, why did they have a celebrity? They lived in a farmhouse with stone floors. So what's the worst possible vacuum cleaner you could have in a property with stone floors? Um, Constellation or Celebrity, I would say, are my number one and two. Oh, very strange. So yeah, then they had the Lux 350E. And then in the late 80s, they had the burgundy version of this cleaner. And it is, da da da. The Hoover Power Glide, really odd, really odd machine. Uh, yeah. like, mm. Now I need your help with this. I, I genuinely need your help because 
I'm a bit confused in my mind as to which was the early version and which was the late version of Powerglide. And actually, if you look at the literature, the brochures of the time, say 84 to 87, Powerglide appears twice, as I say, in the cream version and the burgundy version. But it's very brief. It's only a period of maybe three years that it was in the Hoover brochures. I think, and it's a massive think, that the cream version was the early Power Glide and the burgundy was the late version. I don't have the brochure with the cream version in, but I do have the brochure with the burgundy version in. And I'm pretty sure that the burgundy machine is in the brochure from 1986. And the cream one, from what I found online, is in the brochure from 1985. So I think cream is early and burgundy is late, but they were so short-lived uh, that it's actually really hard to tell. <sighs> so over to, over to you guys, am I correct? Am I correct in thinking that this is early, burgundy was late? So please let me know. I would appreciate it massively. But on to the star of the show. Here it is, my 12 pound Hoover, Hoover Power Glide. This is it. This is what we get in the box. We get nothing else with it. How bad is it? Well, yeah, quite bad. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but that is like, it's utterly spotted with black paint. And on the underside, there is like massive great slodges of it. I think some bastard has used this as a garage vacuum cleaner and this has been treated really badly. Having said that, honestly, it's in quite good physical condition because it's not cracked, it's not split, it's not dented. Oh God, look at the face of the great big splodge of black paint there. Yeah, it's all right. I think we can save this. And it's really nice to have. It is, it is lovely to have this and at such a good price as well. I'm, I am really pleased. Whatever happens with this, I am pleased with it. I've got something else to bring up onto the table. I have never in my life had the opportunity to compare these two cleaners, but I know they are very closely related brothers. So let's bring up, da -da -da, we have seen this before, the Hoover Spirit from, now what was this one? This was 1987. So here's the Spirit from 87. Here's the Power Glide from 84. Just to say, this machine is, was manufactured November 1984, which kind of fits in with my theory. But just compare and contrast these machines. How similar are they? Okay, the Power Glide's bigger, and I think I know why that is. But they are unbelievably similar. It, it, it is almost exactly the same vacuum cleaner. If you, if you sort of jack the spirit up like that, they are the same machine. Everything lines up. Look, the panels line up like so. The handle lines up. The top lines up. The bag door. So what I think Hoover did was they kind of realised that they didn't need a luxury budget machine because this was this was the budget cleaner they kind of went why are we making this when we've also got the freedom and we've got the compacts typical hoover let's just create everything let's cover every single market sector so they must have gone right let's make a proper budget cleaner but let's use the tooling and the molding of something we've already got so what they've done is, as you can see, Power Glide has got wheels. It's got two back wheels and a spinny wheel. Spirit just has runners, pl plastic runners. Power Glide has a bag release mechanism. Spirit does not. Now, what, what was the wattage of these? Uh, this was 650, and I think this was 800? Was it 800 watts? Yes, 800. And the reason for that is I think they have different motors in them. Spirit had a, like a, 
a very cheap a single fan motor. So the fan was here, this way, with the motor uh, section like going down. So you've got the fan next to the dust bag. And I have a theory that Powerglide used the backwards style motor that we saw in the, the Hoover Freedom. That's my theory. We will, I think, be able to find that out without taking the machine apart. So let's do that in a second. Oh, just to say, they take the same bags. Um, and look, even the, even the bag release, uh, sorry, the front paddle release it, is the same. So this bit is exactly the same as this bit. Good old Hoover. Let's just recycle everything. Let's put the spirit back down there. Now, let's find out if this machine does indeed use the Freedom motor. And I think we would be able to do this if we take the front off, like so. Um, we've got, oh, good, good God. That's a really nasty piece of foam there. Uh, <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe the muck in here. It's the filter. Yeah. Now, the way you can tell with these is if you see that at the bottom uh, behind the, the bag, you see that unit there? It's got a, like a, um, a raised circle in the middle. That is an indicator that this machine uses the backwards freedom motor. Now for our... Um, uh, situation shall we say that is not a good sign um, because those motors they're very weak very very weak and I think this yeah I think that's a pre-motor filter it is absolutely covered in muck the um, donut filter is not much better and if we tip it up oh god yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of muck coming out there. This is gonna make, this is gonna make a mess. And I turn it on, this is gonna make, this is gonna make a mess. <sighs> now, unfortunately, these motors were absolutely notorious for <sighs> killing themselves, basically. <laughs> There's no other way I can put it. They just killed themselves. The, the trouble is with the backwards motor, everything that comes through the bag just goes straight into the armature and the field coil and the bearings it and then it goes through the fans if you do it the other way around you you might get away with it for a bit longer because the fans are pushing the dirt out of the motor um rather than sucking it into the motor i i need to do it i need to do a video on Hoover motors and what they went into, because I think that would be, well, to me, that would be quite interesting. I'm not sure it would be to anybody else, but uh, to me, that, that, would be, that would be quite cool, actually, because I just have this theory, right? I, I, I have this theory that Hoover made the motors first and then made the vacuum cleaners for the motors to go into. That's, that's my theory. I don't know if you guys agree with that, but it kind of makes sense because the motors in some machines were so strange and so odd that you would never have thought of the machine first and then the motors to go in it, if, if you see what I mean. Uh, that probably doesn't make any sense, but I, yeah, it, I kind of need to explain that more. But Let's try and turn this on. I, I have a I have a horrible feeling that this is not going to go well. That's that's off. So, oh, cross your fingers. I've got to say, guys, I'm not hopeful. But let's find out. Well, it's very quiet. <laughs> oh. Well, I honestly, I am honestly surprised at that. I, that, yeah, this is my surprised face. <laughs> I am very surprised. A, that runs, and B, it sounds as good as it does. Okay, let's just get that back on. Can I, will you go back on, please? 
Oh, there we go. Okay. That that is that is a genuine surprise, actually. Um, I I didn't think that would actually sound as good as that. Okay, that's a massive win. That is a that is a massive massive win. Because it means we can save the motor in this, and I don't have to bugger about trying to find one of these backward motors, which would not be much fun. Um, so that's really good. God, I am genuinely surprised that it actually works. The switch is very dirty because it doesn't want to um, turn on particularly easily. But uh, yeah, the machine runs, and that top bearing is fine. That's amazing. So yeah, great, awesome. Um, we have a working power glide, but one that's going to take some work to uh, to bring it back to its former glory. So I think that's probably a topic for another video. We'll um, we'll take this apart. We'll have a look inside, and we'll see how Hoover managed to mount that motor in there, um, and then probably take take the motor apart as well and give it a service. I think that could be a that could be a fun video. <laughs> They're awful to work on. <laughs> just truly awful but yeah that's uh that's a story for another day thank you ever so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to do the usual commenting subscribing and liking i will see you again in a future video and we will definitely see this machine again because uh that's certainly one that needs a massive restoration on it so you you guys take care and i'll see you soon bye